I can imagine this is recording me right now. Okay, so man is gonna go straight into this thing. Um, as I said earlier on Twitter, man's gonna have to scrub this thing real quick. Probably not even getting really good sound quality. What I'll do is I'll lean forward and speak into the mic. Anyway, right now I'm gonna see if I can cop that. I'm leaving that in. I'm gonna see if I can cop that. Um, what was the video that I was going to make that got unceremoniously deleted? If you're following that that Twitter timeline, you'd know what the storyline is. But I know not enough mofo's give a damn right now, so it is what it is. I will still make the video though. So kiss my ass. Okay, so I'm gonna draw for that. Where is it? Is it the Turismo? Is it the Turismo? It better be the Turismo. Oh, he's gonna have a bad time right about now. Okay, we're basically gonna do this backwards. Because, as I said, the video was deleted where I had it fresh and I took it to LS Customs and actually made my selection for the customizations this time round we're gonna start from the back just like a man is apparently supposed to read a book we're gonna start from the back and thumb our way through to the beginning okay so just gotta find my way to the mud shop not too far away I don't know if you noticed the pace on this bad boy I heard something along the lines of it breaking the sports classics class just because of how powerful how quick and how well it handles overall and you know it cuts a nice shape even from the back there it cuts a very nice shape you can see even as default that is the default uh, spoiler by the way and it does have grown man pop-up headlights you've got to love it you just have to anyway what did I put on this bad boy I think I did most of the performance upgrades I don't really mess with the brakes much um, I can show you what the stock one looks like it looks like it's got a bit of a tooth going on then it's the classic and then you have it looking a little bit more sporty I don't know if you can tell with me in, in these video games um, I tend not to overdo it um, the stock engine block when it's coloured and your secondary colour right there which is some kind of bronze um, the exhaust options that's what I went for Keeping it simple didn't need uh, that blue titanium tip. Just went for the chrome tip. Kept it simple enough. Then you have the stock hood, which is cool on its own. Then you get the the stripe, which is originally white, I believe. But um, yeah, the secondary color for me is a bit different to make the red. A bit more bold so this is the one that I went for in the end but then you have you know the combinations of the stripe and whatnot the various intakes GT hood looks pretty cool it's got to be said but it's the vented hood that I went with uh, let's see if I can pull up the lights real quick if it will let me yeah there it is subtle things like this I love beautiful pop-up headlights I'm in I'm in. We've got an option for the sun strip. I went for the carbon because you can have none, which is, I believe, the default. Then you can have it looking like it's making the uh, windshield a bit more narrower, giving you that panoramic view. Then you got your secondary uh, color sun strip. I just went for the carbon one. Then you got the side skirts, 
kept it pretty standard. Because as you can see, the lip of the car is about on the same level as it anyway. Don't really need to mess around with it too much. Spoilers, like I said, that's the stock spoiler and it's badass. Uh, you can have none, which is also pretty cool, but that is taking it to a different level. Then you've got the uh, secondary color variation, the carbon variation. This is also another cool wing, but it's like the first one except for not as dynamic. Look at those curves. It's got two tiers, whereas this is a much more simplified version of it. Then again, you've got your carbon and secondary um, color version. This is also on a different level, but I'm not on that hype. Right, right, tried to do that all in one take, um, and life was just like, nah, dude, shit's never that easy. Anyway, continuing, let me just show you the final two. Spoilers on offer, another one that's pretty cool. Kind of dynamic is large, but maybe too much. And then we have the secondary color version as well, which is interesting enough to say the least. But I went for the stock because it's dynamic as hell. Um, for the wheels, the stock type are like this. They're like the ones that I had before with what looked like a, a chrome lip. And you have the studs going around the star. However, I think, is it sport? Are they sport rims? No. I went for the, uh, yeah, the five star tuna chrome rims, which have, they still have the studs. There are just less of them. And I didn't go for the, um, do I have bulletproof tires? Yeah, good. I didn't go for the custom tires. Just a little bit too much. Wasn't going for that badly sporty look. It looks cool enough as it is. And then as you can see the color as well of it, I can suppose I can just run through those real quick for you. Let's see, you got your chrome. No. Classic colors. You know, it looks good in a, a bunch of colors, a bunch of different shades, but that classic red is really all you need. Hold tight the crew. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, then if you notice the inside as well, that trim. That red trim. And then even the matte. Might be one of those ones that makes it a little too contemporary. And then you have the metallic which is pretty much exactly the same as the classic, maybe a bit shinier. And then the metals, which make it look like they should be in um, a garage in Dubai somewhere. And then obviously the pearlescent to mix it up with that red. Ain't nobody got time for that though. Obviously the trim, I went for the red. It is probably the exact opposite of Grotty right now, but I think that was the whole point of it being named as such. I mean, you know, the interior is simplistic enough. Yeah, just looks cool. And I think that's pretty much everything. So there it is, folks. There it is. That Grotti Turismo Classic. Customized personally by the Claymore Minotaur. I tried to do it in one take, but it wasn't having it. And this is what you get. Told you I was going to scrub it. Anyway, stay tuned for more scrub level videos. And it's your boy JJ.
the claymore minotaur. LJT here. Fuck off, LJT. And I'm out.